Hey everyone, this message is for the sign of Scorpio for July of 2019. If you don't know who I am, my name is Dee. I am a spiritual empowerment coach and healer. Um, and in this message, you're going to be getting the messages from spirit as well as the energy healing to go along with it. Okay, and I also pull cards during the energy healing. So you want to stick, stick through to see what else it has to say. I am getting a lot of people asking me how to work with me. Um, you could either work with me in a personal reading. So if you like these, you can get um, a personal healing session with me or you can work with me in my membership group. All right, all of that information is in the description box below. You could also follow me on Facebook. My divine healing course is out. Um, a lot of questions about that. That's also in the description below um, if you're interested in becoming a healer or learning how to heal yourself. All right, let's see, guys. All right, let's see what is going on. All right, so your overall energy for the month of July is your Five of Cups. So with this card, you know, I'm feeling like you're focusing on what you don't have um, instead of what's in front of you, okay? So there could be a lot of thinking about what you've lost, could be a lot of, you know, seeing the negative side of things here with the Five of Cups. Give me a second. Ooh. All right, then. All right. Yeah, so feeling a lot of energy of lack. Focusing on what is spilled, right? So you've got the five of cups and you've got all these cups, these three cups that are spilled on the ground, but he's holding two cups. So just make sure you're focusing your energy on what you have versus what you don't have for the month of July. In the beginning of July, you've got the nine of wands. You've got the seven of cups. You've got the four of pentacles and you've got the hermit reversed. Beginning of July, I feel like there's just a lot of confusion, a lot of on guard, a lot of not trusting and a lot of not being inside of yourself. So I feel like this is, you're definitely focused on somebody else here. I feel like you're focused on outside sources. So remember, these are general readings. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Check out your moon and rising signs as well. But let me look at the other cards here. Yeah, I'm feeling it's time to take your energy back because in the beginning of July, I feel like you are so focused on stuff that's outside of you on other people, on other situations. Drama is what I'm hearing as well. There's just a lot of drama going around. And I don't really even think it has to do with you per se, but I think you're just involved in it or you're worried about it or you're trying to help other people, all right? And because you're not trusting the capabilities of other people, you feel like defensive here. You might be under attack by somebody else. Um, you know, depending on your situation, it could be, love, it could be work, it could be whatever it is, but I definitely feel your focus, like they're just showing me like, here you are, but you're focused on everything out here. And especially with that hermit card, because the hermit card upright is all about going within. And I usually don't read reversals. So when they do come out, it signifies something, you know, that's really going on. And with this being in reversed, you're not focusing on the end. You're not taking time for you. Uh, make sure that you're meditating at this point. Make sure that you're connecting, praying, uh, whatever that is for you, you know, taking a walk, whatever it is for you. But just make time, make time for yourself to really kind of let everything in your mind go. Because with that seven of cups, it's just a lot of confusion. And coming into the middle of July here, I feel like you start to realize that. I feel with all these cards, it's about self self care this month. Self care. Um, you've got the Eight of Pentacles. You've got the Six of Wands. You got the Wheel of Fortune, and you got the Page of Pentacles. And what I'm hearing is, don't 
care about what other people are feeling or what they're thinking this month. This month isn't about you taking care of others. It's about you taking care of yourself. You need this time because how can you help others if you're not helping yourself? How can you take care of others when you're not taking care of yourself? Right? You're going to exhaust yourself. You're going to over exert, exert yourself, whatever that word is. <laughs> You're going to, you know, burn out. You're going to burn out. So during July, it's time to have fun. It's time to take your life back. It's time to recognize that you deserve to be taken care of. Right? With this Eight of Pentacles, he's putting the roof over his stuff. He's putting the roof over protecting what he has. Okay, and this with this um, with the six of wands here, this is about recognition. This is about recognizing that you deserve that. You deserve that self-care. The Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Pentacles. So this is all about nobody's going to do it for you. You've got to be the one to say, you know what? I'm sorry, I can't do that today. I'm going to go for a walk instead. Set those boundaries. Set those boundaries because this is life of overwhelm. This is life of chaos and drama. But when you have boundaries in your life and you establish those boundaries, that is when your life calms down. And that's what this is all about. And then here we go. We've got the emperor. When you establish boundaries, the emperor, you think anybody's going to cross his boundaries? Right? He's sitting in his throne. He doesn't give a shit about what anybody else thinks. He knows exactly what he needs to do, why he needs to do it, and he's going to do it. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, and then you've got the Five of Pentacles here. Got a lot of Pentacles, so, you know, this could re resonate with money. Like, set boundaries with your money. We need boundaries in every aspect of our life. Financial, spiritual, family, children, love, business, work, all of that. We need boundaries, even ourselves. Like boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. I'm going to be doing a course on that at some point. But this is time for you. This is time for you to realize that it's okay for you to have the time. Right? Because at the end here, I feel with this five of pentacles, it's like you're feeling like, oh, can I really do that? This is like, they're bringing my attention to like a mom who just has a baby and let me know if this is you. <laughs> let me know how this is resonating with you in the comments. But, you know, this is like a mom who has the baby and then like doesn't want to leave the baby. And then when she does leave the baby or the child or whatever, because I know it, it goes far way longer than a baby, but like you feel guilty. You feel guilty for leaving your kids. But you have to realize that you're a person too. And that it's okay because this is just the start. Once you start to establish those boundaries for self-care, this is going to, you know, change everything else in your life. You're going to feel like you have a life again. You're going to feel like you're empowered. You're going to feel like, okay, now I can do this with more emphasis because I have recharged. I have taken care of myself. And that's what this is all about is that self-care. And to not feel guilty. So at the end of July, when the guilt is sitting in and saying, wow, I really spent a lot of time on myself this month, who cares? Realize the more you take care of yourself, the more you're going to be taking care of others. And you're going to be present when you're doing it. Because right now, if you're exhausted or overwhelmed, everybody's not getting the best of you. You're not getting the best of you. So right now, this is time for you to realize that it's okay to take care of me. It is okay that I need a walk. It is okay that I need 15 minutes out of my day. You should really be getting an hour a day. Let me know in the comments below if you get an hour of day of self-care. And if you don't, why not? Why not? Do you not see yourself as worthy of an hour of time for just you to connect to yourself? You are so worthy of it. Okay, so we're gonna go into energy healing. Um, I always go in with an intention. If you haven't done this with me before, I'm a Reiki master, an energy healer. Um, and I go in with an intention. I connect the, 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 the divine energy with your energy to release any blockages. There's something here in the past that makes you not feel worthy of having time for yourself. We've got to figure out what that is. So I'm going to go in with the intention here. 
as to feeling that it's okay. It's okay to release any guilt. All right, so you are just going to find a comfortable space to either sit up or lay down. You're going to listen to just a few minutes of music, and I'm going to connect the divine energy with your energy. We're going to really focus on realizing that it's okay and letting go of any guilt that you have in taking care of yourself. And I will pull a couple more cards throughout the session, so stay tuned. So go ahead, find your space. Close your eyes and take a deep breath in. Okay, whatever thoughts come in, just let them come in and let them flow out. Here we go.
take a deep breath in and let it out and take another deep breath in give your body a nice stretch and let it out whenever you're ready you can open your eyes I hope that felt good for you I hope that you realize that it's okay to take that time for you. The cards that came out during the session was um, the star and the three of cups. More fun in your life, guys. More fun. Everything doesn't have to be that serious. To really just enjoy yourself. You have this light shining inside of you. But it's hindered by situations and drama and negativity right it's hindered by focusing on what you don't have or all the things that are going wrong around you versus on what you do have so a lot of you might want to start like a gratitude journal or like even in the morning before you open your eyes just say I'm thankful for this and I'm thankful for that I'm thankful for my family I'm thankful for my house I'm thankful for my money I'm thankful for my job I'm thankful for my significant other whatever it is for you but every day to start the day on a positive thankful note instead of focusing on everything that's going wrong so during the month of July stay positive realize that you have this bright light inside of you that it's just your you know I call it the ego where it's basically attacking any of your connection to the divine and you know you can see here they're pouring she's pouring out her water and if you're not replenishing yourself you're gonna pour more than you have all right so I don't want to see that happen for you guys so just make sure that you're worried about yourself take care of you and then you can take care of others all right so I hope that makes sense with you again if you want a personal healing session with me the link is below um, or you follow me on Facebook. Much love to all of you. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful month. And I can't wait to hear about how are you taking care of yourself this month? What are you doing just for you? Let me know. All right. Much love. I will talk to you guys soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful month. Bye.